Hello everyone, I'm Phantoms Y, and welcome to my schedule overview for the English version of Fate Grand Order for 2019. Like last year's video, I'll be outlining the rate up summon banners we can expect for the coming year, based off the Japanese schedule from 2017, as well as touching on the events and freebie servants we'll have access to for participating. The standard disclaimers apply. This schedule should be taken as an overview and not an end-all be-all, as the events and banners may be swapped around or even skipped based on how the English version proceeds. Still, my hope is that this video will help you plan out your roles for 2019 so that you can save those precious saint courts, as well as plan for the big events that interest you personally. Also be aware that I'm going to be referring to the servants by their names, which, to some, may be considered spoilery. If you don't want to know the identity of forthcoming servants, stop here. This information was compiled by the folks over at the Fate Go Wikia page, so I'll link there in the description if you'd like to take a look for yourself. If you're interested in a certain time of year or a particular event, you'll find timestamps to navigate the video easily in the description. Also, sorry if I sound a little froggy in this video, I'm a little under the weather as of recording time, but the end of the year is almost here, so I have to get this done. So. Without further ado, let's get to it. To start off the year, we'll be getting the New Year's Guaranteed 5 Star Summon Banner. This is actually potentially a very worthwhile banner, as it's the first time we'll be able to choose the class that we want to roll in the Guaranteed 5 Star Gotchas. It is worth noting, however, that no limited servants are available in the class pools, though there are a few storylock servants available. Like in the past, to roll in this banner you'll have to use paid courts, so you'll need at least 30 paid courts in order to snag your guaranteed 5 star servant. And remember that bonus courts from the same courts packages don't count as paid courts. Also keep in mind that you can only roll in this banner one time, so choose wisely. With all of that said, let's quickly go over the 5 stars available for you to roll, class by class. The sabers available are Arturia, Altera, and Mordred. The Archers are Orion, Tesla, and Arjuna. The Lancers are Karna, Lancer Arturia, and Enkidu. The Riders are Drake, Ozymandias, Maeve, and Quetzalcoatl. The Casters are Tamamo, Waver, and Sansal. The Assassins and Rulers are bundled together, but still only offer either Jack or Jean. And Berserkers offer Vlad, Nightingale, and Ku Altar. With that mouthful out of the way, we'll also have the New Year's Summon Banner available at the same time, and this will be the introduction of the new 5-star saber, Miyamoto Musashi, into the game. In the Japanese version, there was also a rotating schedule of other limited 5-star servants available during the New Year's Banner, but this banner is very similar to what the English version got over Thanksgiving. As a result, I'm moderately confident that we won't be getting this. I could be wrong though, and so for completion's sake, the 5 star servants on raid up this time in the Japanese version were Gilgamesh, Shiki Saber, Iskandar, Ilya, Kentoki, Skahak, and Ishtar. The next big summon banner should come just a couple of weeks later, with the Old Man of the Mountain summoning campaign. We'll finally have a chance to obtain the powerful 5 star assassin. King Hassan from this banner. Gramps come home. Next, we'll be getting a rerun of the Moon Goddess event, where the 5 star archer, Orion, will be on raid up. The 4 stars on raid up during the event include Marie Antoinette and Steno. And to top off January, we've got a rerun of the Cries of the Vengeful Demon in the Prison Tower event, which has raid up for the limited 5 star Avenger, Edmund Dantes. To kick off February, the Japanese version of the game had their 8 million downloads campaign, offering a slew of perks and updates, while also bringing back a summon banner for the 5 star caster, Leonardo da Vinci. The next interesting tidbit we can expect is the rerun of last year's Valentine's event. Running concurrently with the event is a new summon banner featuring mysterious heroine X Alter, the new 5 star berserker. This banner will have a rotating lineup of female servants going on raid up alongside Mysterious Heroine X Alter as well, including Arturia, Jean, Tamamo, Jack, Nightingale, Sunzong, Altera, Orion, Drake, Mordred, Maeve, Arturia Lancer, and Quetzalcoatl. This year there will be a summon banner including some male 5 stars on raid up as well. 
This banner includes Tesla, Arjuna, Karna, Enkidu, Ozymandias, Waver, Vlad, and Kualtar. February closes out on a high note as the release of the Shinjuku chapter hits the game, bringing the Shinjuku Summon Banner 1 alongside. In it, you'll find the new limited 5-star archer, James Moriarty, available to roll. The new 4-stars, the assassin Yang King and Avenger Hussein Lobo, will also be available in the new banner. Moving into March, the follow-up summon campaign is, unsurprisingly, Shinjuku Summon Banner 2. In this one, we'll have rate-ups for the new 4-star archer, Emiya Alter, as well as the 4-star saber, Arturia Alter. Following that, we have a rerun of last year's Caldea Boys collection event, though I use the term event loosely. The summon banner from last year makes a comeback too, putting the 5-star ruler, Amakusa Shiro, on rate up alongside the 4-star rider, Astolfo. Next, we have Caldea Boys Collection 2017, or rather 2019 going by the NA timeline. The summon banner coinciding with this one brings a highly anticipated 5-star saber to the game, Arthur Pendragon. Yep, non-gender bent King Arthur. There are numerous other 5-star male servants on a rotating rate up alongside Arthur as well. We've got Waver, Vlad, Tesla, Arjuna, Karna, Ku Alter, Ozymandias, and Enkidu. We've got a fan favorite rerun next. That's right, Nobu and Okita are back in a rerun of the Guda Guda Hunoji event. The event's summon banner returns as well, with the 5 star saber, Okita Soji, on rate up, along with the 4 star archer, Imiya. And just like before, You'll be able to attain the freebie 4 star archer, Oda Nobunaga, for participating in the event. So don't miss out! No bleh. To round out March, we've got a class based summon campaign. To echo what I said in last year's video, these summon campaigns don't have rate up on any servants, but rather allow you to roll exclusively for a certain class of your choice, but with the same god awful gotcha rates you know and hate. That said, if you're rolling for a certain servant, this is a pretty horrible banner to roll on. The only real upside I see to it is that the storylocked servants are available in these banners, like Kualtar or Quetzalcoatl, just to cite a couple of popular examples. I'll spare you listing off every servant in each class banner, but suffice it to say that every servant in a class is available in their class banner, except for the limited servants. The rates are just as awful as ever though, so I'd suggest avoiding this trap unless, maybe, you're a brand new player that doesn't have any decent servants in a certain class. Shifting focus to April, we kick things off with a brand new Gouda Gouda event, Gouda Gouda Meiji Ishin. This event offers another free servant for completing the event, Cha Cha, the new 4 star berserker. That's not all though, a new summon campaign will release alongside the event including the powerful new 5-star Berserker, Hijikata Toshizo. The 5-star Archer, Tesla, along with the 4-star Casters, Helena and Thomas Edison, will be on rate up in this banner as well. Next up, we've got the Fate Extra Cross Fate Grand Order summoning campaign, leading up to the Triple C event proper. It's another rotating banner, including the 5-star Servants Nero Bride, Gilgamesh, Karna, and Tamamo. The four star servants, Gawain, Nero, Emia, and Elizabeth will also be on rate up. At the very beginning of May, the Fate Triple C crossover, Deep Sea Cyberbrain Paradise Seraph, hit the Japanese version of the game. It sounds like the NA version should be getting this event at this point, so we've got some nice treats to look forward to here. One thing I want to note here is that this event is, as far as I can tell, the first event that will require you to clear all the way through the Solomon Singularity, so do be aware of that. Anyhow, we'll be getting an amazing Welfare Servant for participating in the Triple C event, our first Moon Cancer class servant, BB. But of course, there's also gotcha banners to roll, two of them in fact. In the first, we have a 5 star representative of the brand new Alter Ego class entering the game, Melt Lilith. She hasn't come alone though bringing the 4-star Alter Ego Servant, Passion Lip, alongside. We also have the new 4-star Saber, Suzuka Gozen, available in this banner, 
in the second Triple C Summon Banner, we'll have another 5-star Alter Ego Servant to roll. Sesuyin Kiara, the 4-star Archer, Emiya Alter, as well as the 4-star Lancer, Elizabeth, are also on Raid Up. The next banner comes with what was the 9 million downloads campaign in the Japanese version. It's another rotating banner, putting the 5-star Archers, Ishtar and Orion, as well as the 5-star Rider, Quetzalcoatl, on Raid Up. The 4-stars, Lancer Medusa and Avenger Gorgon, will also be on Raid Up throughout. The next event is a rerun of last year's Rashomon Raid Event. The summon campaign is a tad different this year though, putting both the 5-star Assassin, Shuten Doji, and the 4-star Berserker, Ibaraki Doji, on Raid Up. June fires up with the return of the Shinjuku 1 banner, once again putting Moriarty, Yanking, and Hussein Lobo on Raid Up. Following up, we have a rerun of last year's Onigashima event. If you missed him last time, you'll be able to get the freebie 4 star servant, Ryder Kentoki, from participating in the event. We've got a different summon banner this year though. It's another rotating schedule, including the 5 star servants, Raiko, Tamamo, and Kentoki. The 4 star servants, Suzuka Gozen, Emiya, Emiya Alter, and Emiya Assassin, will also be on Raid Up. At the end of June, we're treated to a new story chapter, Agartha. Naturally, that means new servants and a new summon banner. This time, we've got the new 5 star caster, Shaharazada, the new 4 star assassin, Wu Zetian, and the new 4 star berserker, Penticilia. To kick off July, we have the Agartha 2 summon banner. Surprisingly, there are no fresh faces in this banner though. In it, we have the 5 star rider, Drake, as well as the 4 star saber, Deon, and the 4 star berserker, Heracles. Next, the Japanese version had a commemorative campaign celebrating the FGO The Stage theater performance focused on Camelot. As a result, we've got a raid up banner including the 5 stars, Mordred, and the Lancer Arturia, as well as the 4 stars Gawain, Saber Lancelot, and Tristan. Even though NA obviously won't have a stage play to celebrate, it's still likely that we'll get a raid up for them, but time will tell. Following up, we have a rerun of last year's summer event. That means that the freebie servant, the 4 star assassin Skahawk, will be available for you to get through the event if you missed her. The sun is shining down bright with the return of the summer banners as well. Like last year, the first banner includes the 5 star Lancer Tamamo, as well as the 4 stars Lancer Kiyohime, Archer Ann and Mary, and Ryder Mordred. The second banner includes the 5 star Archer Arturia, as well as the 4 stars Ruler Martha and Caster Marie. At the end of July, the second year anniversary rolled around in the Japanese version, which means exactly what you think it does. Yep, another guaranteed 5 star gacha. Like always, you've got to have at least 30 paid same courts to roll on the banner, which can only be rolled one time. It's not a class based summoning campaign this time like it was with the New Year's event, but rather one huge pool of servants. But one thing worthy of noting about this one is that for the first time, it does include rare limited servants like Merlin, Jean Alter, King Hassan, and Gilgamesh. The list is enormous, so rather than recite them all to you, you're already looking at the table of servants you could potentially roll right now. Obviously, your chances of getting that one servant that you really want is slim, and even getting a rare limited servant is pretty slim. But there are some real gems and a ton of variety. Here's hoping against rolling dupes. Anyhow, at the same time, a brand new limited servant will be arriving in his own summon banner coinciding with the anniversary. Who is it? Why, that's elementary, my dear. It's the brand new 5-star ruler, Sherlock Holmes. At the beginning of August, as part of the anniversary campaigns, a new event arrives along with a new welfare servant to pick up. It's the All the Statesmen event, and the freebie servant is a new... 1-star servant? Yeah. It's the Berserker, Paul Bunyan, and... Yep, that's just what I imagined Paul Bunyan would look like right there. But wait, Zwei! I hear you cry. What about Summer? Where are the new swimsuit waifus? Don't fret, friend. In early August, the new Summer event, Dead Heat Summer Race, hits the game. We get a new freebie servant this event as well. The new 4-star, Ryder Ishtar. Naturally, there's plenty more to roll in Gacha Hell, though. In the Summer Banner 1, we've got the new 5-star caster, Caster Nero, 
as well as the four stars, Saber Frankenstein, Assassin Nidacris, and Berserker Nobunaga. In Summer Banner 2, we've got the five-star rider, Arturia Alter, as well as the four stars, Archer Helena and Lancer Reichel. In addition to all the swimsuit servants, late in the month, there's also a daily special summoning campaign during the event, which puts the five stars Maeve and Sanzang, as well as the four star Edison on radar. Late in August, the Japanese version also had a summoning banner to commemorate the Fate Khalid liner Prisma Ilya movie, which naturally put the titular five star caster, Ilias Fiel von Einsburn, on raid up. At the tail end of August, another class based summoning campaign peeks in yet again. I won't bore you by combing over it again, the same details apply as the earlier class campaign in the year, which I talked about earlier in the video. September starts off strong with a brand new Nero Festival event. While I don't go into detail on events here, I do want to quickly mention that this is a lottery box event, so unload those apples. Anyway, the summon banner for this event includes the 5-star Saber, Nero Bride, the long-awaited return of the 5-star Lancer, Brynhildr, and the 4-star Saber, Nero. The next summon banner was to commemorate Fate Go's exhibit at Kiyomaf, and included the 5-stars Hijikata, and Okita. Dai Shori! The four stars on raid up include Suzuka Gozen and Tamamo Cat. The next summon campaign came to celebrate the Japanese game's milestone of 10 million downloads. And who better to help send more money flooding into DW's pockets than the Buster Meme King himself, the five star caster, Merlin. Also on rotation raid up are the five star Saber, Arturia, and five star Lancer, Lancer Arturia. The four star Saber, Arturia Alter is also on raid up. As a quick aside, it's also worth mentioning that along with this campaign, there was a 4 star ticket giveaway given out to Japanese players, allowing them to choose a 4 star servant of their choice in exchange for the ticket. NA got one of these around launch time of the game, so there's no telling if we'll get another one of those at this point as well, but if so, this may be the perfect chance to get a desired 4 star servant that's eluded you. The list of those servants available to Japanese players to choose from at the time of this event is on the screen now. Next up, we have a rerun of last year's Halloween event, which provides the 4-star welfare servant, Saber Elizabeth, as a reward for participation. The summer banner for the rerun includes the 5-star assassin, Cleopatra, as well as the 4-stars, Lancer Vlad, the caster, Nidacris, and Berserker, Ibaraki Doji. To top off September, there was a summon banner coinciding with the commemoration of the autumn performance of FGO The Stage Play, this one offering rate up for the five stars Ozymandias, Da Vinci, Mordred, and the four stars Gawain, Saber Lancelot, and Tristan. Starting off October was a commemorative campaign celebrating the premiere of the Heaven's Feel movie in Japan. The summon banner introduces the four star Lancer, Parvati, into the game. The 5 star Saber, Arturia, is also on radar, along with Fate Stay Night 4 stars, Emia, Heracles, and Arturia Altar. Next up is the launch of the new story chapter, Shimosa. The Shimosa 1 summon banner puts the limited 5 star Saber, Miyamoto Musashi, on raid up once more, along with the new long awaited 4 star archer, Tomoe Gozen, as well as the 4 star assassin, Mochizuki Chiyome. Following up is the Shimosa 2 summon banner, which puts the powerful 5-star berserker, Raiko, on raid up, along with the 5-star Oni assassin, Shuten Doji. The new 4-star assassin, Kato Danzo, and 4-star saber, Yagyu Munenori, will also be on raid up. Come home, Danzo! We end October with a new Halloween event. This year we'll be getting yet another Welfare Elizabeth Servant. This time, a 4-star Alter Ego. Mecha Elichan or Mecha Elichan Mark II. Yep. As for the summon banner, a new 5 star assassin is introduced to the game, in Osaka Behime. She'll be on raid up along with the 4 stars Yan King, Elizabeth, Wu Zetian, Carmilla, and Penticilia. We're getting close to the end of the year as November rolls around. With a new round of interludes being packed into the game, a new summon banner slips in as well. This one puts the five stars Ozymandias and Sanzang on raid up. The lone four star on raid up is Emiya Assassin. 
Up next is a summon banner cropping up alongside the Fate Apocrypha anime broadcast campaign. How will they handle this on NA, if at all? No idea. But assuming we get it, 5 stars Amakusa Shiro, Jean d'Arc, Jack the Ripper, Vlad, Karna, and Mordred will be on a rotation rate up. The 4 star rider, Astolfo, will also be on rate up. Better hop back into your reindeer outfits, because next up is the rerun of last year's Christmas event. If you missed out on her last year, you'll have another shot to get the freebie servant, Santa Jean d'Arc Alter Lily Lancer, for participating in the event. The summon banner will put the 5 star archer, Ishtar, on rate up, along with the 4 stars, Emia, Martha, and Nursery Rhyme. This is a lottery box event, but keep in mind that as a rerun, the number of boxes is capped, so don't go crazy. Save those apples for just a little bit longer. Next, we have the 11 million downloads campaign, offering a new summon banner with the elusive, powerful 5-star assassin, King Hassan, on Raid Up. We then have a summon campaign commemorating Fate Grand Order VR. However, evidently this banner offers no Raid Up servants, only some CEs. So don't fall for the trap, save your courts. Finally, ending off November, we have the long-awaited release of the Salem Chapter. The Salem 1 Summon Banner puts the new 4-star caster, Cersei, on raid up, alongside the 4-star lancer, Neja. We start off December with the Salem 2 Summon Banner, which puts the brand new class, Foreigner, front and center with the new 5-star, Abigail Williams. She's on raid up alongside the 4-star caster, Queen of Sheba. Moving on, we have the new Christmas event up next, which offers a new freebie servant for participating in the event, the 4-star archer, Altera the Santa. As for the summon banner of this event, at long last we get a chance for the new 5-star lancer, Ereshkigal. She'll be on a rotation raid up, along with the 5-star saber, Altera, the 4-star caster, Caster Gilgamesh, and 4-star lancer, Lancer Medusa, will also be on raid up throughout. And like always, this Christmas event is a lottery box event. Unlike the rerun, there is no cap on the boxes you can farm, so this is the ideal time to use up the apples you've saved up since NeroFest. And though it's technically next year, let's end off this year talking about next year's New Year's campaign that starts January 1st. As usual, this includes a guaranteed 5-star gotcha, which requires 30 paid courts and can only be rolled on once. This time you're choosing between two banners for your guaranteed roll, one including Sabres, Archers, Lancers, Rulers, and Avengers, while the other banner includes Riders, Casters, Assassins, Berserkers, Alter Egos, and the Lone Foreigner. The 5-star servants you can roll in this banner are shown on the screen, and it's worth mentioning that, like the Anniversary Guaranteed Gotcha, this one does include Limited Servants. There's another New Year's Summon banner running alongside the Guaranteed Gotcha at the same time. It's a rotation banner that includes a bundle of limited servants, as well as a brand new servant. The new servant is the 5-star foreigner, Katsushika Hokusai, who will no doubt wring my bank account dry. The other servants on raid up are Gilgamesh, Skahak, Moriarty, Meldlilith, Tamamo, and Musashi. If you're rolling for any of them, or any servants in general throughout the year, Good luck to you and your rolls. We'll all need it. And that about does it for another year of planning to roll in Fate Grand Order. If I missed anything in the schedule, I apologize in advance. I know I missed a couple of things last year, so hopefully I nailed it this year. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, and if you found it useful, share it around to others who you think might find it handy. Let me know who you're rolling for in the comments and how your rolls go throughout the year. Keep in mind that you can navigate the video easily from the timestamps in the description if you come back to the video and need to reference a particular part of the year or a certain event in the future. Subscribe if you want more Fate Go content or have an interest in visual novels, as that's the primary content I post up on this channel. With all that said, I'm Phantom Zwei, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.